I grew up in a home where my dad was in ministry, and then after college, uh, my brother and I ended up going into the ministry. And then getting into making feature films has really opened our eyes because we've been able to become friends and get to know believers from around the world. And it really blows my mind that when you go to a church in any city in the world, an interesting thing happens because some churches all look the same within the church and oftentimes they don't look like their community. They all look like the pastor and the staff and they wear the same clothes and uh, talk about the same things. And that can be understandable because we like to be around people that we share things in common. But if a church is really gonna reach its community, it will start looking like its community. And uh, Jesus didn't just die for people that look like us or have our color of skin. He loved the whole world. He died for the whole world. The end game for believers is that we're gonna be worshiping God together around his throne with people from all over the world that don't look like us. In Revelation chapter seven, verse nine, it says, after this, I saw a vast crowd, too great to count, from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands, and they were shouting with a great roar, salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. It describes this incredible worship service of people from all over the world. It says, every nation, every tribe, every people group, every language. The Bible really doesn't use the word race. It says in Acts that from one man, Adam, every people group of the world came. So if we're gonna put on Jesus Christ, like scripture says, if we're gonna love our neighbor as ourself, like he calls us to, then we gotta remember the Good Samaritan story because that's the illustration Jesus gives us for loving our neighbor. And the Samaritan was actually reaching out to someone who didn't look like him, who didn't believe what he believed, and showing love to another person in need. I wanna challenge you to start praying for your church. If your church is not looking like your community, ask God to give you a love for the people in your community, to help you to connect and reach out, to meet the needs of the people in your community. Because when our churches when our churches start looking like our communities, it's going to be a picture of the love of God that we're making disciples of all nations. We're starting in our region. And our worship services will really be a beautiful choir practice for the worship that we will experience together in heaven. Let's pray for it and let's pursue it together. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.